afternoon, everybody. Is this seat fixed? Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> you swear you were the same height as me, man. <laughs> you must have really short legs. Yeah, I think I do. Am <laughs> I might getting fat or something? Tight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got Woo. mates you've got them like, what you doing now and everything. Like, yeah, they're like really tight in your yeah. crotch. Yeah. Hard for us chaps with massive, yeah. massive dongles. God, that clutch is on and off, yeah. and fuck me. Oh, oh, when I fucking had to pass my test for this clutch. Oh shit, man. <laughs> So this is quite a cool car for you actually, because this is your first car. Yeah. You've had it since you were 16. Yeah. And you're 19 now? Uh, 18. Are you 18? Yeah. What's the insurance like on this? Um, about 1100 now, I'm 18, got one year's no claims. Oh, you got one year's no claims, yeah, yeah. man. Is that, that's everything declared? Yeah, yeah. Fair play, man. Obviously living a bit more in the sort of country, your insurance is a little bit Yeah, post cheap pretty cars. good for insurance. Yeah. When you bought this car back when you were 16, what had been done to it? Um, so it had exhaust, induction, it was mapped, um, it had lowering springs and that was pretty much uh, it. There's a couple of bits done to it. And what horsepower are these stock? Uh, 150 at the factory. These are 150 at the factory? Yeah. And how much are we running now? Uh, 280. Done to this engine to sort of make it handle the power? Um, so obviously, fully forged pistons, rods, um, all the heads have been worked on, like skinned, poor and polished. Hybrid turbo, it's got all your things like induction, exhaust, uh, it's got bigger injectors, upgraded fuel pump. Was this the original engine that you did the work on? No, I ended up buying a 17 pounds more rally on a low mileage engine. Ah, and, and then, then you rebuilt that on yeah, the side. Fair yeah. play. All new bearings and stuff? Yeah, literally Everything. completed. What about cams? Uh, standard cams, that's the only thing I didn't change. Okay, cool. How much boost are we running? Uh, 1.4 bar. And that gives you 280 horsepower? Yeah. Fuck me, man. So, so it's literally double what the original car yeah, had. Yeah, basically, yeah. yeah. Standard gearbox, but it's got limited sift diff. Ah, uh, so it's got LSD, yeah, yeah. just to help with the torque steer a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Still the original box? Ah, uh, no, I've gone for free. <laughs> <laughs> I take it the box is chocolate, it's a bit of a weak point. Yeah, pretty shit, yeah. yeah. Can you do things like upgrade the internals, or are, these, are, the, are parts to get for these cars quite sort of hard? Yeah, it's hard, it's literally, we just got to stick with the standard box, yeah. unfortunately. I think you were saying earlier, a couple of your mates are running Civics with upgraded boxes, obviously they've got an abundance of parts because Civics are so popular. That's it, yeah. These are quite sort of niche, yeah, niche market, Yeah, it's aren't just, they? they're not a high demand for yeah. it, you know what I mean? Sounds free as fuck. Project Move pads, yeah. fucking hell, they're not cheap. Nah, good thing. And standard canopers? Uh, standard standard canopers, canopers, yeah. How do you find the braking? Um, yeah, pretty good. I, the I use it on track light, as well. Yeah. 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 Suspension feels quite nice and planted pretty tight. Take yeah. it you're running adjustable coilovers? Yeah, fully adjustable BC racing. Oh, BC's cool. And any sort of braces and stuff? Yeah, I've got the Summit 4-point underneath at the front, and I've got the rear X-brace to help with the back. 
And you said at some point you might actually put a full roll cage in there. Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, like a, like a welding or a bolting or something. Yeah, a proper welding one, yeah. <laughs> We've got the dash and all the door cars, so it's not yeah, really yeah. loud. You've got stripped out the interior, yeah. no I'll, rear seats. Yeah, I'll keep it like this because I do need it. So. You've got no, no plans for kids or anything. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a nice sort of suede OMP. Yeah, Is it yeah. 300mm steering wheel? Uh, 320, I believe. Yeah, it's nice, man. Yeah. A couple of cheeky gauges up here. We've got water temp. What's yeah. that one? Uh, boost. That's oh, boost. And then I've got oil temp. Oil temp to go up here, fair yeah. play. So you've got a little thing, is it called a scan gauge? Yeah, scan gauge. Explain to me what that does. Um, so it tells you your revs, the temperature of the car, boost, you can do like 0 to 60 on it. Oh, cool. So you can do like data logging, basically. Yeah, yeah. And if you any, get any problems, like EML, you can clear it off. So ah, cool. And, stuff. and I take it you can sort of, you can plug in loads of different sensors. Yeah, yeah. Different, loads of different things. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this car's also got traction control in built. Yeah, so it's got a little bunch as yeah. well. Do you find that you use it or do you find it really sort of restricts the power? Um, if I say if I was going to go out for like a bit of a spirited drive, I do intend to turn it off, mainly because when you put your foot down, it just kind of cuts in. It, and cuts, then it cuts the throttle on and off. It, yeah. yeah. How do you find the traction in the, in like the wet? Uh, what, as in like the spinning up? Yeah. Yeah, it is, it's, it's okay. In the wet, I mean, it's like second gear is pretty dodgy. When you get in third, it's okay then. And you said on the ECU, you've actually mapped boost by gear, so That's I right. take it you're running a little bit less boost on like first yeah, and second? Yeah, so first and second is limited to help you, you know, put more power down, and then as soon as you get in third, third it runs a little bit yeah, more yeah, boost. Yeah. And what ECU are you running? Oh, it's just a standard ECU, but it's got EQ tech on. Well, it's ah, like so it's like an open loop, loop ECU that you can basically modify. Yeah, That's basically. cool, man. Traction is also really good. What tyres are you running? So like a road legal semi yeah, yeah, yeah. Really important to have good tyres. Yeah, man. I'm really happy with them. Yeah, because it's all very well having all this power, but if you've got nowhere to put, actually putting the power down, it's, it. it's, it's useless. Us. I think the only other car I ever drove, I think, was a rally art one, which I saw. I, I took one in part exchange about a year ago. Okay. Um, I remember it being quite nippy, but it yeah. wasn't sort of like massively quick. No, no. Uh, this is um, like a whole new. Yeah, yeah, different level. Yeah. weight to it, loads of power and yeah. the, you can actually put the traction down. What's it like on a nice sort of summer day? A whole different ball game, a lot more traction? Yeah, totally different. I mean, on oh, a like, nice day, turn traction off, you in first gear, put your foot down, and it grips still goes, grip, yeah. yeah. I'm quite surprised actually, because even today, I mean, it's only about two degrees, the floor is quite moist, yeah. and it still does grip. Yeah, exactly. You get a little bit of wheel spin, but it's nothing like I expected. Yeah. Where does your love of cars stem from? Because you showed me quite a cheeky little car owner that your dad owns. Explain to the audience what car your dad's got. Yeah, so he's got a 440 very course of the XR. <laughs> What's your dad done to his course? It's obviously running a much bigger turbo. Yeah, yeah, so fully uh, um, engines, fully four, it's just got a Garrett turbo on it, it's had a manifold, you know, injectors, all sorts. What do they weigh those things? Um, they're not super heavy. A bit I think, heavier than I this. think they're around the 1200 mark. Yeah, so it's gonna, and what's it like? Have you had a race with him? Yeah, I mean, um... That's gotta be the ultimate cool thing, isn't it? Yeah, Dad yeah. and son racing each um, other. Yeah, we, we had literally had a little player like two weeks ago, like when obviously this is running out, it is now, so all good, and the course of pulls on this slightly. Slightly, yeah. yeah. Obviously it's a little bit heavier, but it's got like another 150 horsepower. Yeah, pass, so, and yeah. obviously this isn't lagging, the course is lagging, yeah. so... Yeah, 
yeah, I've done quite a few track these actually. Have? Um, yeah, Castle Coon. Like, That's it's, sick. Lo it's local to me. Um, so I got that fair bit. Do you find on track days that you keep up with a lot of faster cars? Oh yeah, yeah. People are not happy about it either. Like, um, you can see it. It's kind of like that Mini we reviewed, although that was a lot less horsepower, but that only weighed half half of yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy exactly. to think that Mini is half the weight of this fucking. Yeah, thing. that's nuts. That is nuts, man. <laughs> Nice how the, you left the body sliding sort of relatively simple. It looks yeah. very sort of smooth on the outside. Well, well, the only thing I want to do now is get a few things painted and just make it more of a nicer, cleaner car. Though. Yeah. You know, sometimes with these cars, they have all this power and they look really leery. You can tell it's powerful. Yeah. Whereas with this, it looks sporty, but it looks quite sleepy. That's it, which yeah. is nice, man. I've made it look nice, but a bit tame. Yeah. So, you know, a bit of sleeper. It's a bit of a sort of wolf in sheep's clothing. That's it, yeah. yeah. Who mapped it? Uh, Quarter Miller. Quarter Miller. Yeah, Are they, they like a cult specialist? Yeah, yeah. They've done like all my like little fine tuning and little bits, like just finishing the car, basically. And yeah, cool. I'm really happy with it. They're a really good job. And who did all the work on the engine? Uh, and then all the engine and all my little mechanic, little things that get done is um, my local garage down in Pensford near me, uh, Southwest. Mate. Hey, I'm doing my little bits and, and obviously the engine you bought for it for this was 7,000 miles so I take it there was very little wear on it yeah exactly yeah. and then even then it's been fully forged yeah. and everything so it's much much stronger yeah what about RPM is it still the stock rev limiter uh, no uh, standard like the factory they're about six and a half yeah um, it's like seven two oh, so, so quite a big difference yeah 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 man just helps and you it, sort of pull it, those if I, um, if I decided to go for cams in the future um, get about 8,000 out of it really so. Yeah, big air tech on that, yeah. And then the radiator? Uh, radiator's actually standard. A stock radiator, yeah. and you find uh, cool and temp stay consistent? Yeah, it's all good. Cool, man. It's quite nice, because I don't really know a huge amount about these Colts, and I think the audience won't either, because they're quite a rare car. Yeah, you don't see many, even standard ones on the no. road, like, you just don't see any of them. Do they still make a Colt? Um, no, they make What's something the... called a Moirage, which is basically the replacement of But it was this. very high up, if I remember. That's right, yeah. yeah. It's very sort of tall. But now, like, they don't do any fast little Mitchell Bushies anymore. This was pretty much, well the rally art was pretty much the last of last the little last, pocket yeah. rocket Mitchell Bushies. Jordan's got a cheeky little Instagram page down here. He's got about 700 followers now. So if you guys could give him a follow, we'd really, really appreciate it. This was my first Mitsubishi Colt experience on the channel. If there's any more turbocharged ones out there like this, then feel free to get in touch because I fucking love them. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this cheeky little video. Make sure to check out my Patreon down here. Give the video a like. Put any comments down below. I'll do my best to get back to you. And we'll see you soon. Peace.